Here's a common repair made by most carpenters, but uh, probably would not be approved by a structural engineer or a building inspector without the approval of a structural engineer. It would just involve uh, nailing a 2x6, if you have 2x6 joists, nailing a 2x6 onto the joist and uh, that would be it. And just hoping that everything would work out. Now, something I would like to say about this type of uh, repair is that it might last and you might not ever have any problems with it. I've seen it done plenty of times and uh, it worked out okay. However, it is not something that I would recommend. I would recommend using some of the other methods that I showed you in the other videos on how to repair floor joists that has been cut by a plumber for a pipe. So this right here is not something I would recommend. But I wanted to point it out to you because it is a common repair. Just simply scabbing on something. It's not, not uncommon to see 2 by 10 joists with a 2 by 6 something that would be nailed up uh, even with the floor um, or even below the floor depending upon where the pipe is. I've actually seen it where times before where the pipe has, so you might have a 2 by 10 joist and the pipe is actually coming in encroaching on this area a little bit so they simply either notch the new joist they're gonna use or use a smaller joist to fit in this area so anyway this like I said is not something that I would recommend here's a repair that I have done before through uh, the recommendation of a structural engineer and this wouldn't involve doing any modifications over the bearing areas you'd be simply attaching a joist to the other joist and bolting it to bolting them together give you an idea here and this is a good example of 16 inches on center staggered 16 inches on center then you would move this over this one would be eight inches directly up and again I probably don't have it exactly there and then 16 inches on center something like that um, the bolts you could probably use 3 8 to half inch bolts drill them through and you know you're probably not going to be able to get a drill uh, in between the bays. These these drills these uh, might actually be angled a little bit. It'd be hard to drill uh, a hole up this high 90 degrees. But I'm not saying it's not impossible. You could do it with certain types of drills. So this is something that would require a structural engineer's approval. Uh, if you put the joist 16 inches on center, as long as you um, I should say if you instead of using this method here you went ahead and put a, a joist here and a joist here and then blocked it off I think is what I showed you in the first video I believe is the first example then you probably wouldn't uh, probably wouldn't have any problems or need a structural engineer and the reason for that would be that your your joist would still be spanned uh, spaced apart 16 inches on center then it wouldn't require a structural engineer but if you do something like this then it might require a structural engineer reason why I showed you this was just to give you an idea of another example of something I've done in the past to make this type of repair however I don't know what the distance you how far you'd have to go here to uh, to make everything work out right so again something like this could easily be fixed sliding a joist butting a joist right next to this and fastening it together whether you're, you're going to use bolts like this or nails um, 16 inches on center something like that to uh, to attach the two together securely obviously bolts would work better if you were going to run a joist all the way across I don't think you would need to use this many bolts you could probably get away with um, maybe putting a four here and leaving this you know and just putting a few nails in over here that way that would attach the uh, damaged area give it give you a little more support because the weight if you ran a joist all the way across the cut joist will uh, the weight would basically be transferring through the new joist 
um, to the uh, load bearing points on the other side. Hope that makes sense. Don't forget to leave any questions or comments in the comment area and I will try to answer questions as soon as possible. Go to the website for more videos on walls and engineering. I will also have a complete list of the videos in this series along with other videos that I have already made. Video.gregvan.com structural engineering or go to the gregvan.com website, any one of them, and look for the video box in the upper left hand corner. Once you get to the video website, click on the structural engineering link and you should be good to go. You should be where you need to be.